So you found a mod you like and it never got ported to Skyrim Special Edition. Some modding visionary made this quest mod in 2014, then walked outside and was subsequently abducted by aliens, never to touch his mod again. Like 13 Oranges mods, or that Forsworn mod I converted. I'm here to tell you how to convert Skyrim Legendary Edition mods into Skyrim Special Edition mods. First, what mods are compatible to be converted easily? This is a simple guide, I'm not a programmer or actually even a modder. What did I just do? Don't worry about it. Does it have an SKSE plugin? If so, this would need to be rewritten in C++ and be on the scope of this guide. Does it have an HTT or .xml file for physics? This would need to be rewritten and the HTT files redone in Outfit Studio, which is too complex for this guide. Regular scripts require no conversion and work right out of the box. Quest mods, equipment mods without physics, Houses, follower mods, and any other types of mods will convert just fine. The process. First of all, you'll need Cathedral Assets Optimizer. This simple tool got rid of a large portion of the steps that used to be required during SE's early days. You don't need NIF Optimizer, Scripts or Batch Files, or Rybash. Just Cathedral Assets Optimizer, Creation Kit, and XEdit. I'm gonna assume you already have Creation Kit and XEdit set up, video linked in the description on how to do that. All right, open CAO. Make a backup copy and extract the file into a folder. Use CAO to select the file, profile, SSE, BSA tab, everything, meshes tab, necessary optimization, always process head parts, textures tab, everything in the box process textures, animations tab, necessary optimization, as you can see, CAO can process animations, textures, meshes, it unpacks and then afterward repacks BSAs. Hit run, and then at the end, if your mod doesn't have a plugin, like an animation or a mesh replacer, you're done. Otherwise, continue on. All right, install the mod normally with your mod manager of choice. This allows you to perform the next step. Open creation kit, select the plugin under data and mark it as active, and then you just save and exit CK. This will convert the file to form 44, which is what Skyrim SE naturally uses. On PC, it can still run form 43, which is LE's form, but better safe than sorry. I've been told consoles only accept form 44. All right, now time for some cleanup. Perform a quick auto clean using XEdit. Since you're here anyway, you might consider ESLifying it too, if it meets all the criteria for that the godly power you have from having SE and not LE. ESLifying link included. Okay, so you're done. This mod should be playable. As with most unusual modding practices, this is not foolproof, so open the game and check it out and make sure everything's fine. If you ever wanted to share this file, go to the file source and just make a copy of the folder and pack it into a .7zip file. And here are some common issues. If you get the dark face bug, that's most likely a load order problem. If when you open your game and either just opening it or trying to go to a location that this mod affects, it crashes, then there's probably a broken mesh. Start over with the same process with the original file. Go to a higher optimization level for mesh. If there are weird visual issues, just also increase mesh's optimization level. And I think that's it for today. I'm trying to make these guides simple, fast, and accessible. Be sure to like and subscribe, watch some of my other content, and um, make your game what you want it to be. Happy modding.